Hey Virgo, we're going to do a love reading for you today to see how your person is feeling about you, what intentions they may have. Okay, so think about that person, that special person in your life or whoever it is that maybe you're in separation from, whoever that person is for you. All right, let's get started. It did say Virgo, right? <laughs> this is Virgo. This is for Virgo. Okay. Virgo. Bottom of the deck we have lying was just an easier for me than telling you the truth. Hmm. I've been getting really, I, I kind of wanted these to be positive. But to be honest with you, um, yours is the third video that I do, and they, they have not been positive at all. I do feel like this um, this double retrograde that we had, uh, Venus and Mercury, that is pretty much almost over. Uh, Mercury uh, goes direct on the 3rd of February, and Venus went direct on the 29th. So, you know, that period is over, but when that was happening, I do feel like that put uh, an immense strain on a lot of couples and whoever you know whatever couples were not on solid ground uh, just did not make it so let's see what this person has to say here we have I can't handle your words right now I don't know how I feel anymore and I can still feel you I do feel like there's remorse you know from this person whatever they lied about but they don't want to they don't they, it's like they want to reach out, but they, they just don't want to have to face the music, right? All right, let's see. Virgo. Bottom of the deck, not today. Yeah, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundaries, still angry. So they feel like you're still angry. And they just don't want to deal with, you know, whatever it is that you want to say to them. We have camera reminiscing, keepsake perception, learn from the past, make memories. Healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on, closure issues. And we have abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. So yeah, I do definitely feel as though this person keeps thinking about you. They can't get you off of their mind, Virgo. Um, they're looking at your old pictures, you know, looking at old text messages that you sent them. They know though, they know what they did. They know that whatever, you know, behavior they had was toxic, but they're having a very difficult time getting over you. And there seems to be you know, I feel as though they think that they can get you back eventually or that you will be back eventually. I kind of get the feeling like whatever the lie they told, they, they have in their mind some justification for it. So some of them, you know, they know that it was a big deal to you, but I feel like for them, it was not a big deal. Like they didn't think it was anything. Okay, let's do tarot. Virgo. What does Virgo need to know about this person? Ooh, we have the lovers and the tower in reverse. You actually, you didn't want to let this person go, but it's almost like they gave you no choice. You felt like this person, you know, you may have felt like this was a soulmate, um, but this was somebody that you were very, very much in love with. You did not want this tower to come down. So this must have been really painful for you, whatever it was that they lied to you about. Let's see how they're feeling. I don't want two cards. It was the Fool and the Seven of Pentacles. So again, who was in reverse? I feel like they want to do something. They want to take some action. Um, maybe take a risk and reach out to you, but they're waiting. It's like they're waiting maybe until they feel it's the right time. Okay, we have the death card. 
they, hmm. they know you're serious this time. Yeah, Ten of Swords. They want another chance, but they feel like they, they really messed up, you know, in your eyes. Because again, I, 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 I get the feeling like they don't really, they don't really see the error of their ways. Like the only reason that they have any inclination about, you know, there being an error is because of your reaction. <laughs> Um, also, I feel as though, you know, you may have put this person on, on a pedestal and, and forgiven many, many, many things in the past. And so they were hoping that that trend would continue, but um, you acted very differently this time. And so that's why they're, they're, they're freaking out. They, they really think that it's over now. They don't want it to be over either, but okay, what is the potential between you and this person? What is the potential? Yeah, five of pentacles. Mm. It's gonna be really hard or it may take a long time for you to warm up again or to trust them or let them back into your life. What is the advice? Advice for Virgo. We have the star in reverse and the outcome. The Ace of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, I, you know, I feel like both of you were, you, you, you both felt very strongly about each other. Um, but I'm also getting this person may. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or uh, a Cancer. I'm getting strong water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I have Cancer here, I have Pisces, and here we have Scorpio. So, um, again, I, I hate to say this because it's been like every single reading, but I do feel like this person was either like breadcrumbing you um, because they were kind of giving attention to other people as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's clarify. Lovers. Two of cups. Yeah. You are in love with this person. This really hurt you. You're still in love with them. So, you know, the Five of Pentacles, it's very possible that this is just a temporary situation. I'm kind of picking that up. Like, I, I, I don't necessarily think that this is over for good. I feel like it may be over for now. <laughs> And maybe, you know, this person needs that, you know, in order for them to truly change. They may need to, you know, get to that point where it's actually over, like, you know, they, that they feel that it's over, um, that they feel, you know, the loss of your presence and your love and your support. I, I, I do feel like they, they need that. Um, and I feel like they are going to get a dose of that. But with the Ace of Wands here, the and you being so in love with them, I, you know, you may just give them another opportunity, but I feel like you're going to make them suffer for some time. The star in reverse. Interesting because we have the same card right here. Yeah, you, you, it's very, very difficult for you to heal from this situation because the, the feelings are still real. Like you, you, you can't just stop loving them. One more for the lovers. What else? The high priestess in reverse. Mm. Yeah. You know, you're very much in love with them, but you don't know if you can get past, you know, whatever secret 
you found out about, whatever lies were being told, whatever, whatever was being kept from you. You don't know if you can deal with that going forward. So I don't necessarily think that you have it all planned out, that you're going to make them suffer and then get back with them. I actually feel, you know, you, you just don't know at this point. You know you love them still, and you know you don't want to be around them at the moment, but you don't know what you're going to do in the future. So remember, the aces are just potential. Anything can happen, okay? So this death card, what is this? Eight of Wands. This person can be, they may call you and tell you that they've, they've completely transformed and changed. And, you know, it may be true from their pers perspective. You have the five, oh, the five, the Hierophant in reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles reverse. So that is your energy. Yeah, they, they just, so you may have told them that this is it. You know, this is truly the end of your relationship. They see you as not being receptive anymore. It's just completely foreign to them, you know, what the, your behavior towards them. Because, you know, you, you just have been such a loving person and somebody that they can always count on. And the fact that they're not getting that anymore is driving them crazy to the point where they're, they're willing to make some changes. Now, whether or not they'll follow through with that, we don't know, okay? Because it's a, just a potential. But I do feel like they have the intention to change. Um, I do kind of feel like it may take them some time to, to really be serious about it. So I, I wouldn't suggest you necessarily, you know, letting them back in so soon because then they may not learn their lesson. Okay, so five of pentacles. Why is this potential? There we go. Seven of wands reverse. Three of pentacles reverse. Five of Cups reverse. Mm -hmm. And the King of Cups. So again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio you may be dealing with. Um, or this is, again, this person is also <laughs> very in love with you. However, I feel like they don't really even know what they want. Like they know what their feelings are towards you, but they go back and forth on, you know, how serious they want to be about this or how committed. Hmm. Yeah. So I feel here the potential, you know, what I'm getting here is that this person is going to reach out to you at some point. They're going to try to apologize, but they're not going to get any response from you. Like maybe you just will leave them on read um, or something of that nature because you're, you're just kind of giving them the cold shoulder. Or maybe, you know, you're just not paying any mind to them and they are not taking this rejection very lightly. And so they, they may just stop. They may just stop trying. Again, at least for some time. Okay, so your advice is the star in reverse. Queen of Cups reverse. that 
you know, regardless of whether you want to maybe give this person another opportunity, either now or in the future, I don't feel like it's now. If you do, I feel like it's further along in, into the future. Uh, or it's either that or like you wanting to get into another relationship, meet somebody new. I don't feel like it's time yet. Um, there, there's a lot of healing that needs to happen here because you're very emotionally vulnerable at the moment. And if you were to meet someone at this point, it, it may be more of a burden to you than anything else because you're not emotionally, you're not in a good place. And so you could be, you know, uh, at risk for being taken advantage of or, you know, something like that. So be careful there because just know that, you know, maybe you need a little more time to heal is what I'm seeing there. Yeah. Ten of swords in reverse. So definitely healing needs to happen. And that's your advice is to concentrate on that. Uh, Ace of Wands has the outcome. Okay, Four of Wands. Nine of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so we have two fours and we have the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo. Yeah, I, I don't I don't feel like this is over. I don't. Um, so I saw the, the Wheel of Fortune in here in the reverse, uh, as well as the, the Death card is in the reverse in this small deck. So I don't, I, I do feel like there's some unfinished business between you and this person. There's still, <coughs> there's still very much a, a huge attraction between the two of you, as well as this attachment, you know, this attachment to how things have been. I feel like, you know, maybe you've been with this person for a while and they, they've just been a part of your life for so long that it's very, very difficult for you to let go because this person does make you happier than they, they did, you know, before whatever happened here happened. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of feel like there is gonna be another opportunity here, a second chance for this person. Like I said, I, I do feel like you're going to make them suffer a little bit and, you know, it may be worth it. So that is what I have for you, Virgo. I hope that you enjoyed your reading. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.